Hey guys, Beanie the Noob here and today I'm going to be doing a quick guide on the Huntress. I'll be going through her abilities as well as quickly going over some items you should always aim to get. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, to unlock the Huntress you'll need to complete 3 stages or teleport events in a single session without dying. Pretty simple. Now let's get into her stats really quickly. Her maximum health is only 90 which is currently the lowest among 6 available characters in early access. Her damage and speed are both average at 12 and 7 meters per second respectively. Alright, let's begin with Strafe. Strafe fires a seeking arrow for 150% damage and can be used while sprinting. You will see that the seeking arrow locks onto nearby enemies and allows hunters to continue sprinting in any direction. Be sure to utilize this and not aim at enemies directly while standing still. Huntress's strength with Strafe is that she's able to run circles around enemies while continuously hitting them. Next, Laser Glaive. This is the ability that makes Huntress so fun to play. Laser Glaive throws a Seeking Glaive that bounces up to 6 times for 250% damage with damage increasing by 10% with every bounce. This is great for a variety of reasons. Firstly, early on when you're faced with large groups of squishy enemies like Lemurians or Wisps, a well-placed Laser Glaive can wipe them all out. The Glaive is also great for dealing significant damage to tanky enemies, as the Glaive is also able to hit the same enemy more than once. Always try to plan your shots such that the final 6th hit goes off a tanky enemy because remember, damage increases by 10% with every bounce. Laser Glaive is going to be a slight challenge to utilize well early on because of its 7 second cooldown, so be sure to use it wisely. Next, her utility skill, Blink. Blink is a fantastic teleport ability that allows you to reach certain places that may be out of jumping distance or just to get clear of a large group of enemies. The distance of the teleport increases depending on whether you're sprinting or not. Remember, you can move in any direction with this ability, so don't be afraid to look up if required. Finally, Arrow Rain. Teleport into the sky, then proceed to target an area to rain arrows, slowing all enemies in the area and dealing 225% damage per second. Arrow Rain is great fun, especially early on. Nothing's more satisfying than landing a perfect Arrow Rain on a large group of squishy enemies and watching them all fall. It is important to note that you are invulnerable as you teleport, but once you are at the top of your jump, you can start taking damage again. Arrow Rain does not scale too well and so the further you go, the more this just becomes a panic button for you to teleport out of danger. Remember, once you cast Arrow Rain, you will fall immediately. Remember to have Blink ready so you can teleport to safety. Now, let's quickly go through which items work well with Huntress. I'll be going over what I think you really need, excluding legendaries, because you're rarely going to get exactly the legendaries you need. First up, Crowbar, because who doesn't want more damage? Synchronizes especially well with Glaive, as its high damage and ricochets will have you clearing big groups up in no time. Next, Backup Magazine. Now this one's incredibly useful when you move to mid game and basically are wholly relying on laser glaive for damage output as it gives you an additional glaive charge. Then, Lensmaker's glasses are really good to give you some crit chance. The glasses synchronize really well with predatory instincts which increase your attack speed on critical hits. Then. Bandolier is super important to try and stack as much as possible so that Glaive's cooldown isn't an obstacle for you in the mid and late game. Berserker's Pauldron is especially useful on Huntress as Glaive pretty much guarantees you get to go into a frenzy every time, making this more of a passive movement and attack speed buff. And to round up the offensive items, Ukulele. The Chain Lightning fired by ukulele can be incredible for clearing out scattered groups of enemies quickly. Finally, you can hardly go wrong with Soldier Syringes and Tri-Tip Daggers. The former is easily obtainable and stackable and can be a solid option to have until late game. It's important to note though that you'll be fine without these two, so don't go out of your way to obtain them. 
Next, we'll also need some defensive items to address Huntress's squishiness. For that, almost every defensive item you can find is useful. My favorites would be Rose Buckler, a solid permanent armor option, and the personal shield generator, which allows you to gain a regenerating health shield. Finally, when it comes to equipment, anything goes, but foreign fruit would be my number one pick. An on-demand half health restore is a godsend for Huntress, and if you're able to get it, definitely equip it and roll with it. So you'll always start out using Strafe the most, but as you develop and pick up items and stack them, Laser Glaive will quickly become your main damage output. Always try not to stay too far away from enemies because both Strafe and Laser Glaive are useless at long range. Use Blink wisely to get out of sticky situations and pair it with Arrow Rain for better mobility. And that's about it. Hopefully this guide was somewhat helpful to anyone watching and if it did help, please consider subscribing, it means the world to me. Hope you guys keep having fun, this is Beanie the Noob, signing out.